Did you see Evan's seven day forecast? Yeah, 100 degree temperatures back in North Texas. In fact, I think today's high 102 and then it just keeps on going up from there. And Daniel Cunningham, a horticulturist with uh, Texas A&M University AgriLife has some ideas on how to protect your lawn when it's this hot outside. Thank you so much for being here. Thank First you of for all, having me. I posted on social media last week. I feel like we finally got the yard green and now there's a spot. I, I, I posted this because I said, hey, anyone out there can tell, help me. We've got this spot where it just won't grow. It, it gets sun, it gets shade, the dogs aren't running all over it, but still we have this spot. And so many of our viewers said, I've got that same issue. So what could it be? You know, it, it is hard to diagnose problems from a picture, but there are two things that I would look at immediately. If it's a little bit more shade and this problem has been going on for a while with St. Augustine grass, we see a lot of uh, take all root rot, root um, rot and okay. we can treat that with uh, some different fungicides, but also you may want to apply a little bit of sphagnum peat moss. It raises or actually lowers our pH helps that. We also may want to look at chinch bugs. Uh, chinch typically bugs. <laughs> in full sun areas this time of year, we start to see chinch bug damage. Okay. And the way you look at those is just right around the edge of the parts that are dying, you'll see a little sesame seed uh, size bug that will be jumping around. If you have those, there's a lot of different insecticides, organic or inorganic, that can work. Okay, the key right now, you say, is to water the yard deeply. So what, how much water are we talking? Yeah, so on average, we want to water about one one inch per week and that's if we're not getting rainfall okay. so um, watering one inch a week is going to allow uh, our root zone to be saturated about six inches deep that encourages deeper roots that are going to be more resilient to those high temperatures okay and something that you said was key which is what we switched up that we did wrong last summer and we changed it this summer and i think it really is working is um raising the mower height like just from when you mow the lawn don't don't buzz it <laughs> yes especially during the summer months so that's going to do two things okay. it's going to allow kind of the top part of the grass blades to shade out the rest of uh, the turf so we're not going to see as much evaporation okay but also taller uh, blades uh, tend to encourage deeper root systems so again yeah. deeper root system more area for them to take up water okay some wilting normal yeah and time of year, I'm some, sure. some wilting is going to be normal especially you know in the afternoon when it's 103 105 um, but so test your your turf or your your different uh, landscape plants in the morning if we see morning. wilting in the morning we know we're going to need to add a little bit of supplemental irrigation okay composting mulching i know that's something you're always very big on sure. when you come in here <laughs> i'm a huge proponent it's, i sound like a broken record i know but incorporating compost into your soil works like a sponge holding that moisture for longer periods and then putting uh, mulch around your planted beds is going going to not only reduce evaporation, but increase infiltration of the water when we do irrigate. I got a question for you. I've seen a lot of the zero scaping that's going on now where there are a lot of people are putting rocks in place of the mulch. Does that hurt the plants? Does uh, it not help so much with uh, keeping the moisture in? So I think there are benefits, uh, okay. especially on um, patio areas. If we want to do decomposed granite, um, maybe rocks as accent, but organic mulch, mulch that is made from plant-based uh, yeah. material, that's going to break down over time and tends to kind of compost in place. So it has some added benefits in terms of moisture there as well. Last tip, avoid excess fertilizing. Oh, that, right? Don't fertilize too much. That's so true. So sometimes okay. this time people will see spots in their yards starting to form. They'll say, oh, I need a little bit of fertilizer on there. Nope. Really best to avoid <laughs> that when the temperatures are high. You can find more great tips at the Texas A&M AgriLife website. They've got all these brochures. You can uh, go to their website, Fox, uh, go to fox4news.com and we'll put a link so you can get some help as well. Thank you again. Thank Always you. good to see you. Thank you.